All right, I'm making a relatively quick video um, just to show that I have roughly assembled a singular battery. Um, I don't have the Anderson connector hooked up yet, um, but I do have the leads all hooked up. The BMS is working. Uh, one thing I wanted to cover real quick because I don't think it gets talked about for Dally and Dally gets a lot of grief, I think sometimes it's maybe not appropriate at all. Uh, basically, what I've found here is this: you got this wonderful single temperature lead and this temperature lead people say it doesn't turn off or do whatever when it's supposed to based upon temperature things like that well what i found was that it won't ever actually turn off if you leave it in stock configuration so the dally bms here is actually a smart one meaning that it has a bluetooth connection right here and if you connect to it in bluetooth and you go look at the the low temperature or high temperature cutoffs, they're ridiculous. They're like negative 40 degrees Celsius or something completely extreme that's not useful at all. And what I did last night is I tested this and I used the old trick of just a glass of water with some ice and changed the temperature settings and doused it and it did absolutely cut off the charge and then I got to essentially cut off the discharge and it told me through the app that it did work. So you need, need, need to change the settings to get it to work. Otherwise, it's going to be set to something that's way lower than what makes any sense or way higher, too, for a high temperature cutoff as well. They had, like, 60 degrees Celsius. That seems ridiculously hot and inappropriate. So just as an example, um, next thing I wanted to note is people have complained about this as well, and maybe I'm special in this regards, but this wonderful little Bluetooth dongle. This thing right here, that little thing that little divot thing right there that's surrounded by the yellow circle that's a button and i didn't know this and nowhere in the instructions or their youtube videos they talk about this but in order to get the bluetooth to work to where you can find it in the app the smart bms app you must press this button and then it will show up within like three seconds in the app and you should be able to connect to it you'll see this name here pop up um, and it will work and you can connect to it and change the settings. Anyway, I thought this would be a good quick video. I think everything is turning out pretty good. I've used friction tape um, to wrap all the connections as best of my ability. And right now this, this rubber glove is just protecting the, the, the negative so that way it doesn't touch or can't touch. And again, fully wrapped in friction tape. That's not, I'm not worried about it. Um, positive. And negative are right there where I wanted them to be. So my plan is right now is that I will get a run of wire and have it come out probably right here. I will drill through right underneath the line um, from top end, drill through right here, and make that work. Also, because this BMS, this thingy does seem to go to sleep or can go to sleep, I'm going to drill another hole and have the BMS be able to sit outside the container so I can click it if necessary. Because I am going to be stacking these too high, and I have three more to make. Um, anyway, uh, that's what I've got for right now. Um, hopefully this is helpful. you definitely got to program the BMS. Uh, also, it's some other settings were really goofy for LIFO that I wouldn't keep either. I'll make the modifications, make sure it's good. But again, 80 bucks for this BMS. I think it's pretty reasonable, especially considering you get the Bluetooth connector and you're getting the other connectors for the Wi-Fi. Um, another thing I'm going to mention real quick uh, before I jump off um, is I bought this switch. Um, this is a two-way uh, battery switch. I guess it's technically a three-way, depending on how you want to look at it. But basically, you can set the battery to off, one, two, or one plus two. And what I'm going to do in this, because you can, you'd have two inputs for two different batteries in the bag, is I'm actually not going to use it for that. But what I'm going to do is take this, which is a, a, uh, a resistor, the 25 watt, 30 ohm resistor. And I'm going to gang the one and two using this and put the battery in either one or two such that I can flip the switch to prime it to one so I don't get that wonderful flash and then go to two with a direct connection that bypasses the fuse. I think that'll make things a lot simpler. Um, I don't have to have a button. I just go one, two, three. I can go between them all. So one, two, three. You know, go up to one, one plus two, and then go straight to two, and it should be fully charged and good to go without any arc. Um, so I already have it on/off switch. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I probably don't need it. This should be fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.